All right. If you love vintage Fords, especially the Shelbys from the 60s, classic muscle cars, you're going to love this. Love this episode. Go ahead and pause it if you want to read this plaque. This is an all original 1965 Ford Shelby Cobra. And I'm at a loss for words. This car is amazing to see in person. Incredible car. This is an incredible collection. We're at the Newport Car Museum. We've done a bunch of videos on this place so far. We're breaking down different sections, checking out all the cool stuff that they have. Look at this thing. It's brilliant in this color, too. Love it in this color. Legendary car. So much automotive history here. I don't even know where to begin. Super lightweight, super fast. I love the hood with the, I guess those are rivets. I'm not sure what those are in the hood. It looks pretty cool. Wow. There's the Cobra badge in the front. Look at the front here. You can see the fans on the inside. Wow, so cool. I think this one may have had a restoration done. I mean, it is immaculate. This thing is really clean. But it is one of the original Cobras. Some of the cars here have been recreated. Uh, two OEM spec, I believe, like that coupe right over there behind this. We're going to take a look at that soon. The Newport Car Museum. There's over 100 cars here. If you love muscle cars, if you love supercars, you got to check this place out. They've got a little bit of everything. There's a Ford GT, Shelby 350R, newer Ford GT. The Ford section is incredible here. So you got to check it out. But if you can, hopefully you enjoy these videos. I'm to continue to post cars I go, car shows I go to, events, cars and coffees. I was supposed to be Cavalino this year, but unfortunately I couldn't make it. I try to get to Amelia Island and some of the other big concourse shows. Just look around, look at this place. We've got a Pantera over there, uh, back left corner. We've got a bunch of GT 500s. We've got a 350R. Here we go, GT 350. 350 convertible, 500 convertible, We've got a modern 500, original Goodyears, original GT350. I believe Jay Leno has one of these. 67 350. Got, we're just going to take, there's so many of them, we're going to go quick here. GT500. Tires, the Shelby badge in the back. A lot of blue cars in the Ford section. The Chevy section had a lot of cars with red interiors. I don't think that many Fords from this era came with red interiors. We've got a 68 500 convertible here. What does the KR stand for? If you know, comment below. 428 Cobra Jet with the roll bar, wood trim, manual gearbox over leather, uh, yellow over leather interior. <clears throat> Excuse me. Some Boss Mustangs over there. We've got GT350. Another 350. I believe all the 350s were stick shift. A lot of convertible Shelbys. I don't think you don't, you don't see many convertible shit. You don't see many Shelbys, period. They're convertible like that. What are the modern? Uh, GT 500s. So this is the. I think it's a 13, a 10, something like that. 40th anniversary of the 500 KR. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, another Cobra over there. 
Now, I love the 350R. This is a 350R. Um, you, you don't you see you see a good amount of Shelby 350s, and 500s even, the modern ones. But you don't see many R with that red Shelby badge there in the front. The black uh, carbon fiber wheels, carbon fiber wing, rear seat delete. Of course, manual gearbox, hard top only. One of my favorite specs of the Shelby. Something about the R just really, really works well. I like the rear seat delete. I like the R badge on the seats. Rear wing. I think that's carbon. Maybe it's not. Or maybe it's an option. But you know what? These are not the carbon fiber wheels. I thought they were, but they're not. He probably has both sets anyway. I mean, the standard ones look great enough, to be honest. The shot from the rear, we got the Daytona Coupe over there we're going to look at, which is a recreation. We've got a convertible Mustang. It might be a 64, not sure. We'll get back to that. So here's the Cobra Daytona Coupe recreation, recreated to the highest standard. Now cars like this are cool because not many people, even collectors, can get their hands on the originals. There's only so many of these. There is an original at the Simeone Museum so in Philly, which I do have a video of that, so check that out. Here's the inside. It's all business. This is a race car. Back there you can see the these hoses there. Not sure what they're for, if they're for exhaust. Or for oxygen who knows so that, that was the plaque go back and pause that if you want to read about this one how it was recreated it's a little bit of Shelby and Ford racing history along with this yeah I really do not know what those tubes are for there I mean maybe for I don't know I don't think they would be exhaust it doesn't look like exhaust obviously here's the back of this car there's the fuel door uh, the wheels, like the big Goodyears. I love the fat sidewalls. Love the artwork in this. Look at the artwork in this museum. It's fantastic. We've got cool stuff all over the place. With the authentic stickers. Why do they tape the headlights on racing cars like that? If you know, comment below. I would like to know. So yeah, this is a crazy, crazy Shelby collection here. There's a fan underneath. I mean, he has so many Shelbys. There's tons of muscle cars in this place. Unfortunately, we don't have time to cover them but all, but we're going to continue to cover a few more in later videos. And it's over there, the other Shelby recreation and some other really, really cool cars. So stay tuned for that. We've got lots of fun stuff coming. There's one more look at the R, and that's it for today, guys. See you next time.